It's Renee Rabbit of Rabbit Design. And what happens when you want to price something in Chief Architect, particularly those people that are using Chief Architect that are cabinet vendors or interior designers that have um, some kind of affiliation with a cabinet? Maybe you're a cabinet reseller. Um, how do we price things? And can we use Chief for that? Or do we have to move to another software like 2020? Um, in fact, you can price things. And um, I could show you how to do it yourself, or you could certainly hire me to do it for you. And I wouldn't be mad at that. I enjoy this process, actually. Um, it's, it's a nice little fun challenge to do because people price things uh, differently. And so I've been commissioned to set up a system for a cabinet vendor that is pricing in a very specific way. And it's not, um, it's a pretty complex system, but we're capable of doing complex things in terms of pricing when it comes to Chief Architect because cabinets are publishers within this software and they publish a lot of data. And we can take that data to set up parameters and then take variables such as pricing variables or a pricing system and apply it to those, you know, utilizing those parameters, setting up a system based on your variable pricing. So. Um, let's do a quick run through of what we're even looking at here. And before I even start, I'll show you, this is the overall material list of all cabinets because this is a cabinet vendor specifically. So this gives them a total cost at the end. And it also tells them exactly how we derived that cost so that they have a little bit of a guess and check there. This can also produce a log that is telling you if there are errors in its calculations or omissions. So. I can do all of those things within Chief Architect. So if you thought the Chief Architect can't do pricing, well, guess what? You can. You can do some re really robust systems this way. So um, here we go. This particular um, setup came out to 19,000, and then the cabinet vendor puts a markup on this. And this was within 1% of the pricing of this actual job. We took a job, and I blindly went in, established a system, and then put it against the numbers, and then looked at the numbers, and it turns out it's right on the money. So we know that it's working. And let's just take a look at what exactly it's doing. This system is taking into account how we're even cutting the plywood for this cabinet. OK, which means that it's taking into account remnant pieces. It's seeing if we can use remnant pieces for cuts. Um, it is on a per box basis, but that's how the cabinet vendor wanted it anyways. So um, it's it's figuring out how it's going to cut the plywood in order to, you know, price that out accordingly. And then it's looking at conditions where maybe the box size or something's reporting in a way that it doesn't actually seem like there's any plywood involved and we're gonna bypass that step. The next thing it's gonna look at is the type of doors and drawers. Are they small drawers? Are they large drawers? And then we're gonna price by the drawer box. And then we're also gonna price by the panel itself. Is this a panel? Is it a five panel um, door? Is it a slab door? We're gonna price by that. And then we're going to price by what the finish is. Is this a wood grade uh, finish? Is it a paint grade finish, etc. And I'll just give you an example. Let's kind of zoom in on this right here. And, and I believe right now this is a paint grade finish island. And so I give you a set of tools on top of establishing the system. And the set of tools are very similar to my kitchen tools, uh, but they're more specific to your pricing model. So. We'll give a, a typical four drawer painter base, three drawer painter base, garbage pullout, and it will price accordingly. Also, I give you a, a wood finish um, versus a paint grade finish. So if we use this marquee tool here and we draw a marquee over this whole island setup, it's going to change this to wood grade finish. And you saw the pricing change, right? Uh, versus like a typical four drawer base painter. We see that this is just a base 24 cabinet. Well, if we spray this and now it's a four drawer base 24, you saw the pricing change. So this is a pretty robust system. And then on top of that, I can build you a schedule that's reporting anything that you like. And in this case, this was a guess and check. It's telling us exactly why we added pricing, what per square foot cost, and then I give you a way to change your variable pricing, meaning that you set your per unit pricing. So this per unit pricing is for this case is we've got a five panel and that five panel should be a per unit price of 34. I give you the ability to change that down the line to account for inflation, et cetera. And you don't need to learn coding for that. You simply replace some text, which makes it very simple for you to maintain the system without 
too much modification from my end. We build it once and it should be very minimal on my end to kind of do some updates. So, and that keeps costs low on both sides. It keeps timelines real tight. I feel like this is a pretty cool system for those people that need it. If you're a cabinet vendor or you know, you're a reseller, this is something you should absolutely be taking advantage of. And if you just wanna know how to build this system yourself, I do training for that. I could absolutely train you on how this system was built. It's a complex bit of code, but I got there in a very iterative and simple way. So I could train you on that if you're interested in that. And then those people that don't think you can price, this is absolutely proof we can price. And in fact, I can even take this um, pricing model and I can have it be produced within the cabinet schedule itself aside from the material list and then you just simply take a schedule and you can export that schedule as a CSV we can pull this up in Excel and add a bunch of other modifiers that you might need to do internally so um, some pretty cool stuff anyways thought I'd share this I know a lot of people have been wondering if you can do this you absolutely can